we are on question three now question three so let's look at the a aspect you're supposed to simplify this expression and leave our answer in the standard form so 0 0.084 times 0 0.81 0 0.084 times 0 0.81 all over 0 0.2 0 0.027 times 0 0.04 now the idea is to multiply out where there is more decimal place but as for this one they are all the same so you multiply out until you get whole numbers so 0 0.084 multiply by a thousand will give us a whole number of 84 then 0 0.81 times 100 will give us a whole number of 80 so since we multiply the numerator by thousand by 100 you have to do the same thing at the denominator so we have 0 0.027 times 1000 times 0 0.04 times 100 now this will convert everything into whole numbers for us because we know how to deal with whole numbers so this is becoming 84 and times 81 all over 27 times Four. and we can cancel out so 27 three, now we're going to 73 times 9 we'll go into 81 9 so 3 into 7 1 3 into 9 again 3 so 4 here 1 4 here um, 4 into let's give us 2 4 into 1 1 so this will give us 21 times 3 which is equal to 63 so we write this as a significant figure so 6.3 times 10 to the power 1 now that's our answer in standard form and not significant figures in standard form now we have this one we want to make as a subject Want to make R the subject that relation y equal so we have question 3bi question 3bi we have y equal x minus r over x plus r so we just cross multiply over here so you cross multiply we will get y into bracket x plus r equal x minus r now we expand to obtain xy plus supposed to be plus xy plus yr is equal to x minus r so we group the terms containing r on one side of the equation so we have we have y r sitting here and this comes to add then we have x also sitting here then x y comes to subtract so we have r into bracket let's factor r out so we have r into bracket y plus one is equal to x out 1 minus y so divide through by y plus 1 then y plus 1 so this becomes this takes care of this so we have r equal x into bracket 1 minus y all over y plus 1 or 1 plus y now we finish making other subjects and the question continues to ask that we should find so from b i i find the value of r when y equal 3 and x equal 10 
so b i i b i i 3 b i i so we are finding a value when when y equal 3 and x equal 10 so we just sub in into this relation we're going to get 10 into 1 minus 3 all over 1 plus 3 so this will be equal to 10 into negative 2 all over 4 so this gives us so this goes here 2 times 2 goes here 5 so we are going to get 5 times negative 1 and this is giving us negative 5 that's the answer and what next we are supposed to so 3c a 3c says that Juliet four thousand seven hundred fifty six kg of frozen chicken sixty seven six hundred seventy five grams of vegetables and ninety five grams of corn oil from the shopping mall so what is the total weight of the items she bought in kilograms now the total weight the total weight the total weight just add all them all of them together but we need to leave our answer in kilograms in kilograms so we have thousand seven hundred fifty six thousand seven hundred fifty six kg plus six seven five grams six seven five grams 675 grams 675 grams plus 95 grams plus 95 grams six seven five grams plus 95 grams so now we need to convert this one we know thousand grams makes one kilogram so c75 grams will be equal to c75 over thousand kg so we are going to give that will give us 0 0.675 kg and this one to be 95 over thousand kg which is 0 0.095 kg so adding all of them we get 176.770 kg